Hi everyone, it's me. Today is the day, you guys. It is the day we have all been waiting for for so dang long. Today is June 10th, which also means that today is the official launch of the Lily Sabri Lean app. So I don't know about you, but I have been so flippin' excited for the launch of this app. I have been waiting all week for today. And the funny thing is, my Pam app review, which is the first fitness app review I have ever done on YouTube, that video actually just went up on my channel today as well. So is that a coincidence? I don't think so. <laughs> this is definitely the universe telling me I need to review this Lily Lean app. So obviously I am listening to the universe and I am going to give you my full review. All right, you guys, I am so excited. So let's just get into finding this app. Lily Sabri, let's go. What? <laughs> Had a little heart attack there. I was like, is it not available in Canada or something? But no, it is here, Lean with Lily. Let us get it downloaded. Ah! A few moments later. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just messed up and I'm so sad. <laughs> I just literally filmed the longest clip of me going through this app for the first time. I thought I was screen recording my phone and I didn't and I have messed everything up now and I'm so sad. But basically I downloaded this app, I subscribed and everything and my screen recording just like did not want to save. But I am gonna go through the app with you again now so you can see everything. So I have paid for the one month membership of the Lean app. The pricing is quite steep, I would say. For the one month, it is $17, which is, I think, quite high, but there is an option to pay quarterly, and I think that was like 40 something bucks, and then an option to pay annually, so once a year, and it was like 140 bucks or something. So pretty, pretty expensive, especially since I've just done the Pam app, and that was only three bucks a month or $30 a year. But to get into the app here, so I wonder if I can read you the questionnaire that I did. Okay, I think I can. So when you sign up to the app, you do a little questionnaire and they ask you a bunch of things so that they can choose a workout program as well as a meal plan that caters to your own needs, which I think is really neat. The first question is, what is your weight? So I'm roughly 100 pounds. How active am I? So I just move the scale over here to six days a week because I feel like generally that's what I do. The next question is, what is your goal? And my goal is just to maintain. How many times do I want to eat a day? I selected four times because I generally like to have three meals and a snack. What is my diet type? I put standard and that's it. So it creates a custom meal plan for you, which I think is pretty neat, but I do have one issue with it, which I will show you in a sec once this loads. Okay, so once you finish that questionnaire, I'm here on my plan page. So the app has chosen the Hourglass Sculpt and Tone Guide for me. And these guides are 28 days long, so quite long. As usual, I will be only doing one week of it just to get a good feel of it for this YouTube review. If I go and click into my guide, you can see see all the workouts here for every single day for the entire month. And then if you click into one, for example, today, first of all, there's a button to play all, which I really appreciate. So you don't have to like go in and out of workout videos. And then there's actually toggle options here that you can deselect activation and finisher, for example, to make your workout shorter. So you're only doing the warm up, workout and cool down, which to be honest, I probably will do because 43 minutes sounds like enough for me for a day. It tells you the equipment you will need for the day and then yeah, we've got our workouts here. So that is the workout portion of the app. And then the app has also given me a meal plan. So apparently for today on the menu is halloumi whole wheat bagel with homemade blueberry and rosemary jam. Sounds delicious. Second is tuna steak and sweet potato chips. Also sounds great. Lemon garlic herb salmon, which sounds amazing, but that's a lot of fish for one day. <laughs> and then for snack, there's guacamole with bread dippers, which I think sounds so stinking cute. Let's look at it, like bread dippers. How adorable is that? So this is what the recipes look like. There's ingredients and method, pretty standard. And then if you wanted to choose something that's not specifically on your meal plan, you can just go into this recipe tab and browse for different Things. So just one note about the nutrition that I didn't like off the bat. You can see on my homepage here, it says that my meal plan for today only consists of 1300 calories, which I think is really, really dang low. And I think that is too low personally. I eat roughly 2300 calories a day. So this app right now is suggesting that I eat a thousand calories less every single day than I am now. And I just, I know I'm not a registered dietitian or anything, but I just don't think that's healthy, especially 
especially if you're gonna be working out a lot and doing high caliber workouts like Lily's workouts, I definitely think you need more calories than that a day. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a point away for that one. I'm sorry, Lily. <laughs> so moving on, there is a habits page, which I did start a new habit. I have programmed this app to tell me to stand for five minutes at several times throughout the day. I feel like having a reminder like this would be very, very useful for me. So I really appreciate that. There's also a journal section where you can like write journal entries, I guess. So it's just images, text, pretty basic. And then there's a store tab, which is the final tab, which just has all her products here. So that is a general overview of this lean app. On first impressions, I do think the price is a little too high. Just from going through this, a lot of the content and a lot of the stuff you get seems very similar to what was on the Pam app. There's basically workouts and recipes. And I know there is the added like tracking and journaling aspect of this app, but I don't think that should add like an extra $14 a month to an app. But with that being said I am excited to go through here and pick some recipes to try and I'm excited to do it this workout program for this week okay you guys I am ready to work out now so today is a Pilates and weights day and in the app it says I will need a dumbbells and then also all sorts of bands so I've got them here which also brings me to introduce to you the sponsor of today's video and that is is Dreamy Fit. <laughs> so Dreamy Fit is an amazing activewear apparel brand that first of all has amazing clothes. Like do you see this set? So dang cute. But they also have equipment like resistance bands. They also have these longer bands. And I just wanted to show these to you quickly before we get into the workout. First of all, the set I'm wearing from Dreamy is from their Fit collection. And this is in the beautiful color called Dusk. I think it is just absolutely beautiful. I love how it fits and like that color it's so dang pretty I feel like this color would look great on like all different skin tones and just for sizing reference I am wearing a small in both the top and the bottom and they fit absolutely perfectly as you can see and then to talk about the bands this one is the medium strength resistance band in the marble color which I think is so dang pretty like marble pattern on anything I will take it. There's also this long band, also in the beautiful marble color, that can add more versatility when targeting more muscle groups, like you can use these for upper body. So yeah, these are definitely useful to have for your home workouts as well. And they also have this inner like grippy lining kind of thing, so the bands aren't gonna like slip and slide on you. But yeah, if you wanna check out Dreamy Fit, I have a discount code for you guys, of course. I will pop it up on the screen here for you. That will give you a 15% off anything in their entire store. I'll also include the link in the discount code as well in the description box below as always so you can check that out for easy access and yeah that is dreamy fit now you can watch all these beautiful wonderful pieces in action while I work out <laughs> My hair looks so slicked back right now because I'm so dang sweaty. It's absolutely so hot in here right now. But okay, to talk about this workout, the first thing I would say that was a little weird for me is that there's no music to go with this workout. I think the whole point of that is that you can choose your own music or playlist to go with the workout, but I feel like it would have been a good option to just add music within the app, like a pre-selected playlist of her choosing. So I basically did this entire workout in silence with just her talking and the beeps. I guess I can have my own playlist ready for the next time. But yeah, I feel like that just would have been a good option to have that in the app already, like just a default playlist that you can play with her workouts. And then to talk about the workout. So the title for today's workout is called Full Body Pilates Burn Versus Weights. And I just have to say, this was a booty workout, okay? This was a full on booty workout. It was not full body. The structure of it was interesting. So the active times were all three and a half minutes long with 30 second breaks in between each of them and then we just did circuits during those three and a half minutes. She just led them throughout the whole way and we just followed her. So for my ratings today, for intensity, I'm gonna give it a 9.5. It was definitely a really, really tough burner on that glute. And then for fun factor, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give today a 6.5. I just feel like a couple factors contributed towards that. First of all, the workout is called full body Pilates burn. So I'm expecting a full body Pilates burn and then just got a primarily booty 
workout. The second thing is there was no music, so you know, tomorrow I'm gonna have to prepare my own playlist before I do the workout. And then the third thing is, I just don't like booty day. <laughs> but that being said, I hope we have gotten booty day out of the way, I will update you when I use the app again. All right, day two of Lily. Let's see what she has for us today. Hopefully it's not so booty focused again. Day two out of 28, weights versus cardio, hourglass sculpt. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the activation and finisher again. Today I will need dumbbells, an adjustable resistance band, and a chair. And this is what our main workout looks like. We will try it out and see how it goes. I liked today a little better than yesterday, which is a good thing. It was definitely more full body focused and not just booty as a surprise. So today's workout was kind of the same structure. It was circuit based and each circuit was two and a half minutes long and then we did a 30 second breaks in between each circuit. I do find that this like circuit format makes the workout pass by quicker. So I think that's a good thing. I'm really liking this format that Lily's doing for the app. And then in terms of the exercises, there was a mix between like weighted exercises Exercises and then some cardio sprinkled throughout. So it really was a well-rounded workout, I think. For intensity today, I'm gonna give an 8.5. And then for fun factor, I'm gonna give today an eight. It was definitely a lot more enjoyable than the booty day yesterday, but not like the most fun workout I've ever done. <laughs> but yeah, I think today was solid. Definitely improvement from yesterday. I will see you when I use the Lean app again. Okay, so day three, let's see what Lily has for us today. Okay. So on the plan, today is actually a rest day, but I'm just gonna switch things around a little bit because there is a yoga class I wanna do tomorrow as like my active rest day. So I hope it's okay, but I'm just gonna skip the rest day today and then tomorrow will act as the rest day instead. So the plan for day four, which I'm gonna do today, is called Brazilian Butt Lift. Straight up, to be honest, I just don't like the title of this workout day. I get that maybe it's a play on like the surgery that people do for their butts, but <laughs> I just don't like how it's so physical appearance focused. But anyways, we are gonna get on with this workout and try it out with an open mind. The equipment we will need today is an adjustable resistance band, dumbbells, a chair, and a hit resistance band. So quite a few things today. I'm just gonna get all my stuff ready and let's get to working out. All right, you guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I did not like that one. <laughs> I tried my best to like it, but it was just filled with all sorts of exercises that I don't like. I know the exercises included in this workout are very effective for the booty, the glute, all that sort of thing, but I'm talking about personal preference here. <laughs> I just don't like those exercises personally. The structure of this one was a little different. We didn't do those super long circuits like the first two workouts, but it was more like individual exercises and then a break after. The active times were mostly 45, but around like the last 10 minute mark, the active time switched to one minute long. So it did get progressively harder as we went along the workout, which I think is very effective. Very, very smart for Lily to do. So I appreciate that. For intensity today, I'm gonna say an eight. And then for fun factor, it's gonna be a 6.8 from me today. But yeah, that's it for this workout. All right, guys, the time has come to try our very first Lily recipe. I actually don't know if all these recipes are from her. I know some of them are from her nutritionist. 
so this one might be a lily recipe or it might be a nutritionist recipe but it sounds really good it's really simple but it's a good one to start with for today because it sounds really refreshing and perfect for a hot summer day like today and that is her refreshing watermelon halloumi and mint salad so this one is really simple she just has listed the ingredients here and under the method section it's just empty <laughs> there's no method so I assume I just chop everything up and mix it all together but that being said let us try this recipe now Okay, so that was super, super easy. We have our watermelon salad here. I am so excited to try it. I've had watermelon with feta before and I know I like that, so I'm pretty excited to try this. Look at it. It's so pretty and vibrant. Let's take a bite to make sure to get a piece of everything. It's really good. It's got a little bit of that sweetness, a little bit of saltiness, a little mintiness. That's just really dang good. Recipe number one testing was a hit, so good job, Lily. <laughs> good morning! For breakfast today, we are going to make another Lily recipe, and the recipe we are trying today is her homemade baked beans and toast. Without further ado, let's get cooking. guys here is the finished product this looks like a knife and fork kind of meal <laughs> so i'm gonna use a knife and fork for these toasts hey bobs do you want some ready to taste it mm. yeah that's okay it's like decent beans it's very tomatoey i think i prefer my beans to have a little more like smoky flavor whether it's like adding bacon which maybe wouldn't make it so healthy yeah something like that like a little smoky or like barbecue flavor would be good in these i feel like these are like average <laughs> today as i've already said i'm taking my rest day from the workout plan so i will see you tomorrow all right you guys it's day five i feel like this week has been passing by really really quick so i think that's a good sign let's see what lily has for us on the workout plan today all right so today we have a cardio box full body which sounds right up my alley you guys know i love anything kickboxing it's just so so much dang fun. I'm gonna turn off the activation and finisher as usual. Let's get into the cardio box. I'm gonna get all my equipment and let's go. I'm so sweaty, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that one was obviously a very, very sweaty, hardcore cardio workout. This workout was split into three different sections, so it wasn't completely like a cardio kickbox 100% workout. But I find with Lily, a lot of her themed workouts are kind of like fusion. Like her Pilates workouts aren't strictly Pilates workouts. They're like Pilates inspired. Same with her kickbox workouts. They just have kickbox elements inspired in them. That being said, I think this workout was really well-rounded. There was some good cardio in there. There was a bit of strength training. So for my ratings today, I'm going to give intensity a nine and also a fun factor of nine. Today has definitely been my favorite day so far in terms of the workout week. So I'm excited to see what she has for the last workout. Let's end with a bang. I'm excited. Excited. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. Today is our last Lily day for trying this app. So of course, we're starting the day with one more recipe test. And this morning, we are going to be making her avocado on sweet potato toast, which I think sounds so interesting. I have never tried anything like this. So let's get cooking. 
Okay, so I'm cutting open my avocado. Here's the pit, but I actually got a really funny message from a subscriber and she shared like this reel that someone else made on how to like pop open a pit in a safe way. I'm gonna try it for the first time here on camera because I promised I was going to. Shout out to Erica, the subscriber that messaged me. Love you, girl. So basically what he did was he put two fingers like this and then he just used his thumb to pop it out. So let's see if it works. My avocado is looking a little squishy now, but the pit's down and we are cut and knife free, so that's cool. I have finished making this breakfast. It looks like a piece of art. I took a few liberties. Instead of poaching the eggs, I fried them because it was just more time efficient to fry four eggs at a time. But yeah, I'm excited to try it. Mmm, there's a sweet potato. Mmm. <laughs> One. Okay, you guys, we are all fed and we are digested at this point. So it is time to try our last workout of the week. And today's workout is called upper body sculpt and tone. So I am pretty excited to get into a good upper body day. We haven't really gone into upper body yet so far this week. I also don't think I have ever done an upper body workout from Lily before. So this will be a new experience all around for me. On the app, it says the equipment I will need for today is a Pilates ball, dumbbells, long resistance band and hit resistance band. I don't have a Pilates ball here at home, so hopefully it's optional. Let's just get into the workout and see what happens. And with that, we have completed the workout week. I actually really liked that one. So it was structured a little differently. It was rep space and every single exercise was supersetted. And we all know that supersets burn harder. <laughs> I was also very happy with all the long band work that we did with this because that meant I had a chance to try out my new dreamy long band. Definitely gives you a whole other kind of burn. And we actually didn't use the Pilates ball at all. So I don't know why that was in the equipment needed list, but perhaps it was in the activation or finisher, which I have been opting out of for this week. Just to quickly give you my ratings for this one, I would say intensity is a nine and I'm gonna give fun factor a nine as well. So that's it for the workouts. I'm gonna gather all my thoughts now. This video is very, very long again. I feel like all my app review videos are gonna be super long, but yeah, I just wanna gather my final thoughts and notes together so I have a concise list that I can go through with you guys. Let us talk about my final thoughts regarding this app. So I am gonna break this last section down into three parts. First, I will talk to you about the general app usage. Second, I will go into the recipes and meal plan. And then third, I will go into the workout week. And I will be reading from my notes here on my iPad. So if I'm looking to the side a little bit and you're like, what are you looking at? That's what I'm looking at. Okay, so first of all, for general app usage, I did notice there were a few bugs and glitches throughout the app. The one that was the most annoying for me was that there was this notification that kept popping up and it was telling me that my meal plan was actually going over my recommended calorie intake. And that was a little confusing because I had not like played around with the meal plan part. It was just like what was assigned to me. So that is definitely something that could be smoothed over and hopefully will be in future app updates. I also just found the overall app kind of slow to load and not very intuitive to use. So this is definitely something that could easily be smoothed over for the future. But I feel like if I'm paying 17 bucks a month right off the bat, like it should be smooth at this point. Moving on to the recipes and meal plan portion of the app. So just to start off with the recipes themselves, I found for the most part, to be honest, that the recipes I tried were kind of bland. For example, the beans I made could definitely have been seasoned up quite a bit more, you know, just adding a bunch of spices like oregano, maybe cumin, make it a little chili type. Just yeah, more seasonings to bump up that flavor. The same could be said about the avocado sweet potato toast that I made this morning. Yes, it tasted delicious, but 
but that is because I sneakily added in a lot of extra seasonings. So I did go off recipe a little bit and I added a ton of seasonings that were extra and not listed in the recipe. In terms of tying in app usage with the recipes, there didn't seem to be an option to like favorite recipes or save them for later. That is definitely something that is very useful to have and that was missing in this app for me. Another thing about recipe app usage was that some information seemed to be missing on quite a few of these recipes. For example, on the sweet potato toast meal, you see that there's a step in the method section where you have to poach an egg, but then when you go back to the ingredients section of the recipe, there's no actual egg listed in the ingredients part. So that is some crucial information that is missing there. And then on the other hand, another example is the watermelon and halloumi salad that I made. All the ingredients were there, but when you went over to the method page, it was just blank. I'm not sure if that was a mistake or if it was intentional, but yeah, it would have been nice to just at least have a step there saying, chop everything up, put it in a big bowl, mix it together. <laughs> that being said, I thought the ideas for the recipes were really, really great. Like that watermelon and halloumi salad, I will definitely be making again, and the sweet potato toast was a really great idea. I feel like I have learned something, I can take these ideas with me, and I will definitely be going back to them in the future. And then moving on to the meal plan portion of it, I don't know about you, maybe I'm missing something, but I could only see my meal plan for the one day, like for the day of. Those were the only meals I could see. There was no section where I could preview my entire week of meals in advance. There was a section where I could see my shopping list in advance, but not the specific meals. So yeah, definitely maybe a whole separate tab for the meal plan portion, just to plan things in advance, would have made this app a lot more useful and easy to use. And just one more note regarding the nutrition portion. I did mention this already, so I will be brief, but basically the amount of calories prescribed to my personal meal plan was definitely too low for me. It only gave me 13 to 1400 calories a day for food intake, which is a thousand calories under what I normally eat. So I think that is definitely too low. Okay, now moving on to my thoughts about the workouts. To talk about the overall plan first, I thought it was okay and I overall enjoyed the workout week. We did start a little rough with that booty day that was advertised as a full body day. So I'm not sure if that was a mistake or not, but I feel like definitely later in the week, we kind of rounded everything up. I started enjoying the workouts a lot more and overall I feel like the workout week was very well structured and then in terms of app usage for the workouts I thought that part was pretty intuitive and good to use I liked how on the main page when you launch the app your workout is right there it's the first thing you see and it's so easy to just click into that and do your workout I also liked the options where you could toggle the activation and finisher on and off if you wanted a longer workout one day or a shorter workout the equipment lists were definitely very useful so you could gather everything before you start the videos and then to go into my more constructive criticism. I did mention this as well, but there was no like default music on the workouts. They were all silent, just with Lily talking and the beeps. And I understand that a lot of people might like that because you know, you can play your own music with the workouts. I'm just lazy when it comes to this kind of thing. It would have been nice to have some sort of default music option bundled into the app that you could just pair with your workout easily and with no thought, you know, just play it and go. And then just for a general heads up, if you're gonna try this app, every single workout this week required some form of equipment, whether it was dumbbells, resistance bands. So if you are thinking of trying out this app, I would suggest that you have all that stuff ready and available for you to use before you download the app and start subscribing. So to wrap it all up, do I think this app is worth it? I'm going to be completely honest. I am always genuine with you guys and I do love Lily. I love Lily so, so much. I love her energy. I love the work she puts into everything she does and I think she is a great, great gal and I want to be best friends with her. But to give you my absolute honest opinion. I'm gonna have to say no, I don't think this app is worth it personally for me. I just feel like I can't justify paying $17 a month or $140 a year for an app like this when I could get something very similar like Pam's app for $3 a month or $30 a year. The most significant feature on this app compared to Pam's is that the specific meal plans and workout programs are catered towards your needs. So you do the questionnaire at the beginning of your subscription and then you get a workout program chosen for you and a meal plan chosen for you. But to be honest, I feel like that portion of the app is very basic and could have been done better. As it stands right now, there are only three workout programs on the app and the questionnaire that you answer is very basic. So it just asks me very basic things like my current size, how often do I want to work out, and if I want to lose, maintain, or gain. And it basically just chose the maintain workout program for me. And that doesn't really seem like what a personal trainer would do for you. I feel like there are definitely more preferences that could 
have been added to that questionnaire. For example, where am I coming from? What experience have I had with different types of workouts? What types of workouts do I prefer doing? How long would I like each session to be? Just things like that to give you some more variable option flexibility with the workout plans. I feel like going deeper into that would have definitely made this app more worth it. So overall, I do think that Lily means well. I think she's a great, great girl and I love her. But yeah, my honest overall opinion, I think this app is too expensive. I think if it was maybe in like the seven to eight dollars a month range, it maybe would have been more worth it. Obviously, if you really want to support Lily and love her, I feel like subscribing to this app is a great way to support her. So I am glad that I did subscribe for this one month and have contributed to her and to all the amazing work that she is doing. So yeah, this is no harsh feelings to Lily whatsoever. I want to make that clear. I love her. Maybe in the future, if more things are added to it, there could be more value in it. But I'm just talking to right now and what my experience this week was. That being said, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful for you. If you did like it, please show me by giving me a like on this video and also a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, give me a bunch of star emojis. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!